Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Ah, Lili Nishmasi Mimir Rosu, Rus Vas Mordechai. Shalom Aleichem Rebelli. It's been a while since I wrote in. I responded to today's shir, Lili Nishmat, my father, David Ben Arana Koyen, Zuchan Lebrocha. It's first to ask Skara. As you can imagine, it's been a difficult year. But I have to express my sincere karata tov to you and all of them, the Waikhever, beyond the structure of Kaddish to keep me going, the chizik of doing the daf, bekviot, Every day with the Gishmagi ring to it and the camaraderie of the MDY Global Mishpach has truly helped me through this year. To have the daft through the highs and lows of life is a special gift that we should all cherish. Thank you for everything you do, your talent since Brochas Daft Bays. Brochas Daft Bays. Adam Lobato, Edgeware, London, United Kingdom. David Lowenstein. Hello, Rebelli. Will you be giving Shurim in the days between the Shir and Pesach? I plan to visit family in Chicago for Pesach and I'm wondering if I'll need to make a special trip earlier so I can hear the Dav in person. Thank you, David. So, Bezir Hashem, there'll be live Shurim in Chicago. Just not sure if during... Yeah, that tissue. If during Chalamayit I'll be in the hotel or I'll come into Chicago. I'm debating. Maybe I'll come into Chicago. Last year we did it in Atzala. Thank you. So it could be we'll still get that place. We'll have to see. But we'll post Shurim. Live Shurim will be known. Shkoyach. To Rebelli, first of all, thank you so much for the amazing Shurim. I started learning Arvi Psachim right after you mentioned it at the Shir. I don't have WhatsApp. Avi, we've got a few of these emails. So I put it in here for you. Actually, I don't have WhatsApp, so I was wondering if there's a way to get the link to sign up to Kahoot without WhatsApp. Thanks again, Chazak Vahamet, a chassid from Borough Park. Dear Rebelli, what's the answer to that? Send it by email. Send the email. Send an email to, to uh, Dafarama. Send the email to Dafarama, and we'll send you the code every day. Dear Rebelli, I never sent you an email, but I must share my favorite Vartaira because it affects almost everyone in MDY. I said this Vartaira. Vatala and Miriam, that the question, <coughs> we know that Ami Shor is going to Arsinai. Miriam answered, Bekitzer, why were the horses thrown into the water? Why did Hashem seemingly kill the innocent horses with the riders? Because the horses were enabling the rioters to come and harm Am Yisrael, therefore they got the same Oynesh. So, Miriam deduced, if the horses got the same Oynesh as the wicked riders they supported, so certainly the righteous wife supports and enables her husband to learn Torah, which is what Hashem desires, she gets the same reward for learning as her husband. And that is why MDY is so successful, because we all get encouraged by our wives to go to the daf. And I especially want to thank you, thank your wife, for all of us, from all of us, for letting you out of the house to come teach us. Thank you for teaching me in the daf, but I have to thank my dear wife even more for constantly encouraging me to go to the shir. Sincerely, Dov, Erreich, Bet Shemesh, your Talmud since Brachas. Another Talmud since Brachas. Everybody wants to go on the cruise, suddenly they become Talmudim since Brachas. Shkayach, Dov, Shkayach. Rebelli, after Davini Milcha had Zari Chama on your slime today, I saw the Nazar, the Nazar. I asked him for a bracha. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Starting. It was at least a 30 second long bracha. Then we agreed to take a selfie, and I told him how he's enhancing all our learning tremendously. Kol Tov, Moshe Hamburg, Ramat Shemesh. No, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear it. My ear was next to it. I couldn't understand what he said. It's all Kabbalah. It's all Kabbalah. <laughs> The Koilo is sponsored by Anonymous from Lakewood. The second sponsor of the Koilo, Reuven Klein, in honor of my daughter Elisa becoming a Kalo, the Tzvichayim Nadov from Toronto, Mazel Tov. It's Nadov with an N, guys. <laughs> Did it sound like I said Madoff? Really? He's dead already, I think. At least one of his sons is dead. Yeah. Both? Is it the same guy that killed that other guy in prison? What's that guy that just died? Yeah. Kids are. Theories, theories. Everybody's dead. The Misakh was sponsored by Meiser. The second sponsor of the Masechta, Lilinishmas Chayab Asoisu by Anonymous. The Paras HaChoydish Lilinishmas Moshe Ben Yehuda by his community was a Holocaust survivor, overcame many challenges, and inspired his family, friends, and entire community during his nearly 100 years in this world. The second sponsor of the month, Anonymous from Flatbush for continued brocha, mazel, and clarity. 
by the Landy family, do you want to tell me the people that won the raffle? I don't, I don't think I have it here. Lili Nishmat, Chaim Elephant, Chaim and Yaakov Shmuel, Zuchan and Vrocha, by his West Side friends. Fifth sponsor of the month, Lili Nishmat, Zechariah and Moshe, partners of the day, Sruli Bernstein, Lili Nishmat, Sora, Vitel, Bas, Avram, Yitzchok. And the second sponsor, Yoni, it's not about the Daf, it's about the Yoni, Nagler, in honor of Avi Mandelbaum's Hebrew birthday today. And for Rafur Shlema for Avi. Adam Labato, Lili Nishma, my father, David Ben Aaron Akoyin Zuchan Levrocha, on his first Askara. The art of the month. For complete reform, for Chaim Tzvi, Ben Leia. So yesterday I read an email that made a certain individual wrote me an email that he cried when he read this email. Yossi Klein cried when he read this email. He was touched by the fact that Joe Rabinowitz offered $500 towards a raffle for anybody that starts, begins Mesech Saita. New people and finish it. So I said I'm going to add another 500. So I want to let's redo this. I'm giving the 500 to current members who bring somebody in and their guy finishes Saita. Be on top of him. We'll make a look. You might only be three or four people in the raffle. Wow! Rob Epstein is here. This is your first time back? Yeah. Wow, Mazel Tov. How old is your baby? Six weeks. He took a six-week hiatus because he had a baby. Wow. No, seriously. Shkoyach. Rachamim is back in the house. It's a big schos. Okay. Mazel tov. We $10, Levi, how many people did you bring since Zero. you came? <laughs> have you ever brought a guy in, Levi? Seriously. How many people have you brought to Zichru? <laughs> <laughs> If you tell me no one to Zichru, no one to, to MDY, I'm fine. But if you tell me you brought 20 people to Zichru, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> you have any other artists, Mati? <laughs> <laughs> Levi, you know what an opportunity you have? You go to people's houses every single day as they're giving birth. As You just talk to the husband. You say, listen, do you do the dab? Yeah. Mazel tov, it's a girl, you know. You have an opportunity. You got it. You encourage me. I'm going to do it for the next one. Yeah? I want to see. Uh, Monty Rosenberg won the raffle for DAF 106, which is DAF Kuf Vav. Beseder. So anyways, Rabbi Isai, again, don't stand on the... You're gonna, there's going to be a tfia against you, Levi, that you didn't bring anybody. You were there. You're the guy that goes out there to save people, save people's ruchnias, convince them to come and learn. This is the opportunity. Soita, the most kishmaks, the mesech, the shayach. Well, it's easy. It's, it's unbelievable. All right, here we go. The good news is, this is going to be one of the shortest dapim of shas, hopefully. <laughs> the Gemara daf nun heyomad alaf, starting by the first word. Okay? Leimikitanoi. We had a machloikis. The Mishnah tells us that if a Nazir goes into Chutzlars, a Nazir travels from Eretz Yisrael to America, he becomes Tomei. Believe it or not, he becomes Tomei. And he does not have to shave his head for that Toma. So we had a Shailin Gemara. Is the Toma of America, of Chutzlars, because of the Gush? Because of the, the actual dirt, the ground is Tomei, because we, we're concerned of the dead people that were buried there, whether they're Goyim, even Yidin says Taisvis, just without any markers. We don't know. Anywhere you go, you can be stepping on a dead person. Or it's the ear, the Avira. In other words, Chacham or Geyser, that all ear in Chutzlars is Tomei. Why? Because they don't want you to go to Chutzlars. They want to discourage you from going to Chutzlars. And it's kind of it's scary. If you know that you become Tomei, when you go to Chutzlar, it hits you like a ton of bricks. Hey, Chutzlar is not a good place. That's what they wanted to do. So perhaps it's actually Machloik is Tanoim, going back to Tanoim. If somebody goes into Chutzlar with one of these, Let's see if this works. Oh, here's a shida. Basically, he's in a box. Now, 
The real one is more like this. There are people holding him and carrying through chutzlarts. Today we call that a car. Because there are feet on the ground and there's a box in the air. The, the wheels are like the feet on the ground. And a plane is very different. The plane is completely suspended in the air. There's actually people that are makbid. This is Shailas Alacha. Let's say you buy vegetables from Chuslarts. They come in, I don't know, a cucumber. You take a look at it and there's a piece of, a glump of dirt on it. Is that a gush of Eretz Amen? Fine. So, Anichlas la Eretz Amen, Beshida Tevo Migdal. He makes his way into Chuslarts in a box. Rebi metame berbiyosi berbiyuda metar. So I'm a chloikis tanoi. Berbiyosi says he's tar because he's in a box. He's shielded from the tuma. And Rebbe says he's tame. The box doesn't help. So what's what could possibly be the machloikis? My lab. Rebbe sava meshum avira. Berbiyosi berbiyuda sava meshum gusha. Rebbe says it's the ear, meaning you have no business being chutzlar. You could be in a box. You could wrap yourself up as much as you want. You're in Chutzlaretz. Chutzlaretz, we hit you with Tuma. doesn't matter if the ear hits you or not. If the gush, if you're over, you're doing oil, not oil. You're in Chutzlaretz. End the story. You shouldn't be in Chutzlaretz. And Rabbi Yosef Rehuda says, no, it's a physical thing. We're concerned of a dead body buried in the ground. And you're protected with this box. It didn't hit you. There's a Maisa. A Maisa Shahaya. That this Yerushalmi guy came to America. He was at a Hasidish family. And right before Kiddush, the father takes out a nice bottle of wine. And he's about to open it. And the whole family comes, clamors around him. And he opens up the bottle. And they all go back to their seat. So the Yerushalmi says, what's this minig? He says, we love Eretz Yisrael. But we don't go to Eretz Yisrael so often. But I buy a bottle of wine from Eretz Yisrael, and when I open it up, the top part, that ear that comes out, that's a vir there Eretz Yisrael, my family wants to have a nod from that ear. Sitting in Ramah B'Chemesh, we, yeah, time these mitzvahs every second, we don't understand it. The guy's stuck in America somewhere. It makes a difference. Mishum Aviro, says Gemara, Lord, that's not the pshat. The kuliyam mishum gusha. You could say, no, there's no force here. Maybe everybody agrees that the concern is the actual dirt is tummy. Mar Sova, Rabbi Yossi holds oil, Zorok, Shmei oil. We're talking about an oil that moves. A movable oil is considered an oil. So you have this box, you have an airplane, you have a car that's moving. It's a good oil. It, does, it protects, it's able to protect even though it moves. Umar Sovar, but Rebbe holds, lo yishmei oil. And Rebbe holds that it's not considered a oil. Why? Because it's a movable oil, and a movable oil is not a oil. What? Z. <laughs> These are all, Allah Chalom Mishim, Sinai, these are all things that we don't understand, and that's how it works. Without without svaras. So maybe maybe there's a svar. It's it's not it's not a solid it's not a solid roof. A roof means that it's there. I don't know. I don't know how tumor works. What? What about the floor? No, we're talking about whether this is a plastic bag a oil? That's that's the question here. Is is something that's temporary that's just it's not there, it's passing by. Could that create a good mechitza for you or not? That's the shayla. Fine. Umar Sarah Lishmiya. Botanya, we ask a kasha. Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yudahimer. We're talking about Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yudah here. Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yudah says, oil zaruk shme oil. A moving oil is considered oil. But we have a problem. And again, this is Nazir and there's different gear size and there's different ways to learn the Gemara. Some people learn it. That it's a raya. Some people learn it's a kasha. We're learning it's a kasha. But Tanya, question. 
you have a box full of vessels, uzraka, elcha oil gadol, oil zor gadol mezeh. This is literally a thrown oil. It's, he literally threw it. He took a box. I was just thinking like, where we're, every place of people taking down their boxes from the boydim, you know? I don't know if they still do that, but back when I was a kid, I haven't done it in many years. I remember mother going up, climbing up, schlepping, the whole family's involved, taking down this box, that box. Takes a box with all the kalim and just out of frustration, throws it over the dead person. In the boydim, remember the boydim's in... in <laughs> in Bnei Brak, there's a thing called a boydim. It's like a little piece of the ceiling that comes down. It's like this tall, and you store you store boxes there. It says Benny, but today if you have a boydim, you just add another apartment in there. <laughs> That's why nobody has a boydim. Tmeyo. Even though this is oil zaruk, tmeya. In other words, because it's an oil zaruk, the box doesn't protect the kalim. Rabbi Yossi, this is the same Rabbi Yossi that he said a second ago that if there's a thrown box, if there's a moving oil, is shmei oil. It's considered a separation in the mechitza, and now you're saying it's not considered a separation in the mechitza. All the kalim that are in this box tmeim. It doesn't work. Why? Because it's oil zarok. It's loish oil. That same box, that exact same box that doesn't move to hira. It does create a separation. So you see, there basically review the holds oil zarok lav shmei oil. Okay, so let's take it back. Everybody holds that the problem of chutzlaretz is the ear. Chachamim or masakin. Don't go to chutzlaretz. As soon as you go to chutzlaretz. I'm going to hit you with Tumah, regardless of your protection, regardless of there's dead people there. It's Avira. Umar Sova, Rabbi Yossi holds, Kivin lo ishkicha le gozu We have throughout Chas something that's a far-fetched Metzias, uh, or what's the word? It, 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 the case, the, the situation hardly ever happens that somebody's going to be in a box, he's going to have a bunch of slaves carrying him through. Where today, it's very shchiach. Everybody has a car. Everybody goes on a plane. But in those days, it wasn't shchiach. Like also very Rabbanu. Rabbanu had no intent to make a on something that's not shchiach, that doesn't happen so often. Umar Savar, Rabbi Yehoz, Afegav, Lo Shchicha, Gozru Be Rabbanon. And Rabbi says, no, it doesn't matter if it's shchiach, not shchiach. Rabbanu made a gzera on Chutz It doesn't matter how you come in, by car, by train. It's like uh, Dr. Seuss kind of thing. By plane, by train, by foot, by this, everything is under the xera. You're over. Now, so let's say oil zarik, loish me oil. Seems like we pass it like that. That a moving oil is not considered oil. So an airplane, an aircraft, which could potentially protect you because it's made out of metal, it has a wood, whatever it is, it could protect you. It has a nice shelf and you're on that shelf and the tum underneath shouldn't hit you. But because it's a moving object, so oil zarag loish me oil. So if you're flying anybody, any kind of flight from point A, from London, from Manchester to Israel, he might be going over Beisach Kfaris. He doesn't know. There's a Suffolk. It's a 50-50. There's some sort of Suffolk. And maybe, perhaps, because of that Suffolk, a coin should never fly. Maybe I see Mahmoud. Now, I'll get into it in a second. You think it's far-fetched. So they say no, because it's a Suffolk. And we don't know for sure. Yes, Lahakal. But if you know for sure that there's a Beisach Kfaris, you see the flight path, and you know 100% he's going to go over the Chulon Cemetery, and you're a Kayan, you don't, you don't have a choice. You're not allowed to go on that flight. Now here's another thing. How about this? A guy is sitting on a flight, a Maisa Shahaya. A guy is sitting on a plane. All of a sudden he sees his friend, comes up. He says, oh, Shalom Aleichem, how are you doing? The guy says, I'm sorry, I can't answer Shalom Aleichem because my father happens to be in the, in the baggage compartment. I'm bringing the cargo. I'm bringing him here. I can't say Shalom Aleichem. He says, Oy vey, what? Your father? I'm a Kayan. And he, he starts running off the plane. 
Now, there's an Isser der Raisa for him to be on the plane. Kedoshim Yiu. Isser der Raisa. At any given moment, as soon as he finds out that there's a dead person on the plane, now, you're going to say it's an oil zara, it's an airplane. But it's not an airplane. Right now, it's sitting, it's stationary on the ground. So at that point, it's not a, it, this tumma in the plane, and the tumma comes up, the kids are, what? What do they do? They have a separate thing, no openings, maybe they... And maybe they have one of those pipes that comes out like this. <laughs> people think it's a missile, anti-missile thing. No, it's actually a petach for dead people. I hear. They figured it out. Allah figured it out for Kehanim. Okay. So then there's another Shaila like this. Here's a Shaila. A guy's on a plane and he wants to leave. So they, they say, you can't leave a plane. You're on the plane. Your luggage on the plane. And because of terrorism, da, 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 we have to make sure that your luggage and you go together. So now what? If you're going to leave the plane, now we have to look for your luggage. And that's going to take an hour. So you're going to hold up 300 people because you have a chumrah, not a chumrah, it's Isser. What do you do? <laughs> Stick him in, one of, in the body bag. Fake a heart attack. Fake a heart attack. No, but it, fake a heart attack doesn't help over here. They're letting him off the plane. There's a Shaila, a big Shaila. Could you, because of your Isser, create a Tircha de Tzibura for 300 people until they find your luggage? And when I, when I read that Shaila, a Maisa Shaila, when I was in there, I was learning the mirror, and then I went back home to get engaged to, to New York. So I, I come to the airport, and they did this to me a few times. They said, your name is Eli Stefanski. Yeah. Oh, you can't leave the country. You have a problem with the army. I'm like, I'm American. No, no, it says, in those days, it was like name for name. Eli Stefanski. It turns out there's another Eli Stefanski, much older than me, Kaliner Chassid, that he was like, I don't know, something with him with the army. So, <laughs> I have no idea. He's a Kaliner Chassid. The, the, the Stefanski say, as a vitz, Chassid, if you're Chassid, don't get insulted. He's the one Stefanski who went off the derech. Fine, whatever. <laughs> so, he's a famous Kaliner Chassid. I think it's him. I don't even know if it's him. But they, no, Eli Stefanski can't leave. So they said, okay, listen, you sit over here. Now, I'm planning this whole engagement, this thing. I'm going back to, to America. So they say, okay, but because you, we took you off the flight, oh, let's make some phone calls. Eh, meanwhile, we can't get in touch with the army, so you can't fly. What, what does your suitcase look like? So I like, you know, your typical black, big suitcase. I said, a small green one. So they call back, small green suitcase. 20 minutes later, they're like, we can't find it. What? No, you sure? It's, yeah, it's small green. It says it has red, red band on it. The whole thing. Make, they come back another 20 minutes later. And meanwhile, I see them getting nervous. They're calling, calling. Okay, just let him on the flight. And they let me on the flight. But I'm thinking about the. I get on the flight, the worst feeling ever. Everybody looks at me like this. <laughs> Serious. I'm thinking now, what a tirchid tzibura. What a way to get. Huh? After now. If you were on the flight 28 years ago, I'm asking you, Mechila. <laughs> she had no choice after all that. Fine. But this, uh, if you go, let's say, seriously, if you're going to uh, to Harazesim, I don't know, ask Rabbi Schoenberg what, what's going on. Harazesim, and there's graves everywhere. Under the road, on top of the road, on the side of the road. So one of the things that people are saying is that you can take a board. We learned, where was it? In Sukkah, we learned that they, you take a board, you put it on top of a, a bull, and you put these baby koyhanim on it, and they never touch tuma, and they put them on a rock, and they grow, they, they grow up on a rock, on a cellar. But a board works. Some sochim too? Huh. Okay. Anyway, so look at the Ramesh, the Yedias comes out of sochim, you remember him sochim? We're not there yet. So, Here's the Shiloh, you're in a car, take a board, put a board down, you know, in a bus, right? You take a nice sized board, Rabbi Schoenberg will sit on top of the board, and the board will protect him. So there's a big problem with that. What's the problem? The problem is that the rest of the car, the tumor goes into the rest of the car, and it's oil. So it hits Rabbi Schoenberg right in the face. It doesn't matter that you're on a board. The oil, the tumor surrounds the whole car. The way out of that is if you go on a pickup truck. If you go in the back of a pickup truck that's open to the air, so there's no oil. The oil doesn't fill up the back of the pickup truck because it's open. The kids are, don't be a kayan if you don't have to. 
you know, certain people that come into the religion, some gerim, they're like, uh, I'm a Kohen. Because they could do duchening, get aliyahs, the whole thing. Fine. If you don't have to, it's not a good idea. Huh? What about when you're born? That's a problem. Most people are born in the hospital. Oh. Uh-huh. Most people are born with a doctor. Yeah. The is <laughs> right. So the baby is a common name. No, no, he's he's talking, he's a avatuma. He doesn't, no, the region, right. You know what the bigger problem is? Yesterday we were learning about halal cherev, right? I don't even know about this. I, I didn't see a lot of people talking about it. Halal cherev. A piece of metal that touches a dead person becomes like the dead person. So if you have a, a key in your pocket, you were at a funeral, touched, you were in the oil of a mace, you're together with a dead person in a view, it becomes like the dead person. So you're walking around with the key right now in this thing, and you, you, Rabbi Shomu thought you touch it. You're also behind him, right? So this halal khair is a big problem also. No, yeah. But no, but it, becomes, it could become tummy bit bile. Bile. The kids are, it touched, not touched. Let's say, let's say, let's say you touch, let's say you're wearing glasses and you touch the thing, you're metal on the glasses. You touch, and then you say Shalom Aleichem to Rabbi Shomberg. Kids, there's a lot of issues. And Chalal Chayr could be also, according to a lot of Rishonim, it's not only metal. Fine. Weiter. Uh, okay. Hanich Lazlar Zaham and Meshit Tevim Migdol Tar. Oh, Vatanya. And we have a raya over here. This is a raya. Vatanya is bin Ichuso. I'll prove to you. That something that's that's common, there's a xerah, something that's not common, no xerah. Hanich nazer tzahamim, a person goes to chutzlar, it's beshida tevo migdal, some sort of box, tar. Bekaroin, but once he goes in a wagon, that's normal. Ubesvina, in a boat. Ubeskaria, here's iskaria. This is the world's largest sailboat, I think, or used to be, maybe, I don't know. It's what it has a mast, because it doesn't matter. That's just to explain the word, Iskario. Tell me, because this is how people travel. When people travel a certain way, in a wagon, in a ship, in a whatever, in a mast ship, then you're Tell me. The Xeri was on something normal. The Xeri wasn't on somebody that's going to be schlepped with eight people through Chutzlarz. It's the same person every time, so you don't, even have, you don't have to worry. Lauren. You yelled at me two years ago for yelling at him. You want to speak to him? <laughs> he did. He came over to me after she says, why do you bother him so much? Why? I knew then, when I know today. <laughs> I love her. I love him. Is That's his new song, Rabbi Say, available in, uh, in stores right now. What? Spotify, yeah. Oh, is Ev Roth there today? Ah, how you doing? I forgot. I didn't bring your book, but you should go for the book. He, he, he just came out with a new book, and we're in it. We're all in it. Oh, here it is. Shkoyach. The, the Muncie Bet Shemesh Connection. Shkoyach Zev Roth. Here you go. You can have it back. Lexus Nexus is the name of the story. Viboy Seima. Hach Hashem Ayotzi Roshiv Rubel Sham Pligi. The Machloikis is, are we concerned... Uh, we're, no, we're going back. It's Eretz Amim is because of Gush. That the actual dirt has Tum in it. We're concerned. And just the question is, is a person going to stick his head out of his box? He's going to keep his head in the box. All right. We have a little bit of a problem because the Brisa brings, the Rebiosi holds that a box with Kalim that's thrown is, is Tame. That it doesn't create a thing. Okay. Says the Gemara. Vatanya. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Doi, Mer, Anichnas, Lerz, Amim. Here we have a raya. Beshi the table. Miguel goes into Chutzlar. It's with a box. Tar. Achi Yosi the Shom. Roisha Yerubai. The problem is that he will poke his head out, and that is the Shiloh. Whether or not he'll poke his head out. Umatchil Umayna. So let's go back a second to Nundalat Omer Aleph. So we had over here like this. You have a Mitzayra that has Yimei Safroi Umei Gamroi. The seven days that a Mitzayra counts, first he shaves, right? We showed a whole process 
we won't go into it, it's a very, very long ceremony, bringing birds and then shechting one and not the other and then going and coming. And then you shave the Mitzayra, you shave him completely, he goes to the mikvah, he waits seven days, shaves again, goes to the mikvah again. Those seven days. And Bimei Gomroi, the days that he's isolated because it's a true tzaras. He's a, he's a Mitzayra, he's really Tomei. Aleilu and Anazim Galeach. And another touches this Mitzayra guy, he doesn't shave. And the other things in the Mishnah, the Goylo, Doifek, Rivizdam, Umazim Ashlishi Bishvi, and he does the Hazad, you sprinkle on him the Mechatos, the Enoi Soiser is a Kaidmim. Says the Mishnah that these days, that he's Tomei, don't undo the Nazirus. So the guy's a Nazir for 20 days. He all, all he needs is 30 day Nazirus. He's a Nazir for 20 days. He touches a Mitzayir, let's say. So he's Tomei, but he doesn't have to go back. He doesn't have to shave his head and he doesn't have to recount the 20 days that he did. Now, look in Taisus, top Taisus, top words. Ve'inoi soiser is that's important to our Gemara right now. Says Taisus, these seven days are, are parav. Nundalanum and Beis. Ve'en isoyser sakhaidun. Tap Taisus, first words. Or only words. What? There's a freeze. There's a freeze in his Nazirus very good. I like that word. There's a freeze. He's in other 20 days. He touches a goylel, a doifek, a metzayra. He, he does something he shouldn't be doing. It's not the end of the world. These are Tumas de Rabbanon. And they put a freeze and a hold on his Nazirus. The 20 days that he had before still count for 20 days. The next 10 days after he becomes tar is what he needs. The days in between, the seven days call it, the seven days in the middle that he's Tama and he takes care of his Tuma are nothing. They're not bad and they're not good. They don't count for his, for his Nazirus. And I don't like the mean Nazirus. You can't count those seven days towards his Nazirus. He's Tama. But you also don't have to start all over again. Okay. Says the Gemara right here. We're talking about a very short Nazirus. So here is the picture. So first of all, here you have a, a Mitzayra, a Nazir who's a Mitzayra. I don't know why we did that. Okay. Shaves, and he's not a Mitzayra anymore. And then over here you have where he starts growing his hair again. He needs 30 days of growth. So, says Rav Chisa like this. Let's say the guy is a Mitzayra for, he's a Nazir, sorry, a Nazir for 15 days. And then he becomes a Mitzayra in the middle, in the white part. He accepted upon himself a 30 day Nazirus. But because he's a Mitzayra in the middle, so now he has to shave. And because he has to shave, he has to start, he has to use, he has to wait 30 days now after the shave. Because in order to be done with your Nazirus, you have to have hair growth of 30 days. So, I, I didn't read those words in the Mishnah, that the Nazir begins his Nazirus from that point on. So, kind of erase what I said before, that you, you count the first 20 days. That we'll see in a second. That's a different case. But in this case, is Rav Chizda, because he only did 15 days of Nazirus, and now he's completely shaved, so now he has to start a whole new Nazirus of 30 days. Why? Because of a technical problem. He doesn't have enough hair. So he needs 30 days of Nazirus after he shaves. Avo ben Nazirus Meruba. But if it's a long Nazirus, mislak nami sulkin le. You could use the days of his Toma. Taurus is in Nazirus. So check this out right over here. Very simple. The guy accepted upon himself. A 65-day Nazirus, let's say. Okay, 100 days, 65 days. He's in Azir for 15 days, and then he has to shave. <coughs> let's say the whole process of him shaving, and the coin checks it out, puts him in, in isolation, takes him out, looks at it again, and then he has to bring the korban. 20 days. Let's just throw out 20 days. So now I have a total of 35 days that he's busy with his Nazirus. Now... 
35. 15 plus 20 is 35. He's done. Now, now he's bald. So he needs another 30 days. So perfect. He'll get another 30 days. He accepted upon himself. Sorry, the, it says over there 30 is no good. We have to take it out. I don't know how I got here. Hold on, maybe. Hmm. No, yes, yeah, it's, maybe it's, a, it's, it's. Okay, we'll change it later. Okay, it's supposed to be over here. So you have a total of 65 days, and that's fine. Why? Because the technical problem of not having hair, we, we took care of that technical problem. He grew hair for 30 days. The fact that he accepted upon himself in his years of 65 days, from day one until the final day, 65 days, I have my 65 days, says Rav Chizda. It's a big chiddush. In other words, over here, I could use the Mitzayra days. Why? Because I already have the growth of hair afterwards. Moser Rav Shravio, Rav Shravio, Maschilu Moino Miyad. It says in our Mishnah that he starts immediately afterwards. What's the case in our Mishnah? If you're talking about a, a, a short Nazirus of 30 days, how could you right away go in to continue? The, the Gemara understands that you continue, just continue Nazirus. If you have 10 days left, you do 10 days. Ask the Gemara, how is 10 days enough? You need 30 days of here. Ella. Daf nun hey on the base surprise only six lines. Hatslocha of our yelev and Eliza Simcha Shina Masha and Eliza Simcha Shina Masha about the bracha hatslocha for the nagid shir the members of the HBA group and their families are made. Ella la benazirus meruba we're talking about a long benazirus v'katani matchlu moina miad it's mashma that the days of the tuma don't are not counted for him you don't count at all you start from here on. This is the one who has Rav Shavio as a terrorist. It's not long and it's not short. We need every single day. The Yosef Esrim, the Yislido Bey Tsaras. I think I did. Here we go. All right, the very, very simple case. You have 20 days, let's say. What does it say here? Esrim, right. There's 20 days of Nazirus. Then he did, he became a Metzaira. That we don't count. So what's missing? He's missing 30 days because he accepted upon himself a 50 day term. So very good, now it works out well. 20 plus 30, the two reds that he was a Nazir are 50, that's all he needs. The, the whatever days in between, another 20 days of Tsaras, don't go, that's the freeze. The Nishtahi Nishtaher. He was a Nazir for 20 days and then he became a Mitzayro. He takes care of the Tzaras. And then all he needs to do is add 30 days. So he accomplishes two things. First of all, he has hair growth, 30 days, plus his term was 50 days. He has to do 50 days. The days of Mitzayro don't count for him. All right, so we'll stop right over here. We have a very interesting sugi tomorrow. Raboisai, have a wonderful day.